Hey guys, GNT here, and today I'm gonna be talking about this season three for Dragon Ball Fighters. And man, here's the thing: like I figured they either do another season of DLC, and or or I was gonna say and or they were working on a sequel, one or the other. And because of the way they freaking they they they're working on so many different games at once. I figured they couldn't be working on a sequel right now, so they're going to throw some DLC out there. So, <laughs> they come out with the Season 3, talking about all the different changes they're making. Basically, they're giving you the ultimate version of uh, freaking Dragon Ball Fighters. That is a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 reference. Yeah, so, you're going to get all your extra features and whatnot. They're changing up the system a little bit. They're changing up the user interface and all that stuff. UI. I don't like saying UI for this game because you know, Ultra Instinct, and then you're like, they're changing up the UI, people are like, no, they're adding UI, they're not changing it, sir, what, what do you mean? <laughs> no, but, um, the thing is, they're supposed to be, you know, basically cleaning it all up, like I said, an ultimate version of the game, and they're adding in the whole, you can select your assist thing, which, honestly, that was my biggest issue with this game is that you couldn't change some characters assist so they were irritating to use. It's like, ah, well, I won't be using this character's assist so let me put them in the front of the team. And then you had other characters that you wanted to use but you didn't want to use their assist either so your team was basically um, trash when it came to actual tier levels but as far as you liking the characters, it was perfect. Like me, uh, I just so happened to have Goku Black as my favorite character so his assist was good, and he was good. Or at least to me, because most people say he's not that great, but whatever. Forget you. Um. <laughs> so yeah, they announced that they talked about stuff, and then they had a trailer for the characters. And that's, that's what inspired me to talk a little bit, because they showed the pass, and I was like, oh, four characters. I hope they don't charge the same thing. Because <laughs> the last pass was, what, six, the last two? Uh, let me see, what was in the last pass? Uh, Gogeta Broly, uh, GT Goku, and Janemba, and then Videl and Jiren. So yes, since there's one less character, they should charge us a little less. <laughs> They're probably not going to, but that's what I'm saying. And here's the thing, I've been debating on whether I want to get this season pass or not, because I don't play fighters all that much anymore. It's mostly because the game's kind of dead like <laughs> it's um it still has people playing it but the problem is the people playing it are always the same people and just nobody new jumping in like nobody says hey they've added some more dlc i'm a new guy gonna jump in this game and whatnot now whenever they decide to re-release the game as a complete set or something like that which i'm assuming is probably gonna happen like next year because um I don't think they're gonna do another season after this. They probably just bundle it, throw it out to you, and that might make some new people jump in, maybe. But as far as um as people jumping in for this DLC, I doubt it. The old people that already have the game and thought, oh, these characters are cool, they'll be back for a couple of days. <laughs> other than that, no big deal. But here's my issue. Because there's always an issue with me. Because I have issues. Like, you look in the closet, I got all kinds of comics. <laughs> oh, no, but the biggest issue that I had was, um, you know, they were doing the trailer. We all knew Ultra Instinct Goku was coming. And, and we all knew that it was the mastered version and not the Omen version, which... Personally, the Omen just looks so much cooler than the mastered version because it's just Goku with white hair and his shirt off. It's the <laughs> it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look special. The Omen version was is, is it looked a little cooler. Let's just be honest, it did because it wasn't it wasn't a full on difference in the way that Goku looked. It was more like just a different glow and a little shine to his eyes and whatnot. It was cool. So anyway. That's a thing, we already knew it. We got a little glimpse of the character because it's coming out in spring. Now, granted, in the grander scheme of things, spring isn't that far, but at the same time, 
they're gonna make it at the end of spring. Let's just be honest. They take forever to drop these characters. Like the first pass uh, was great. I thought that was awesome. They're like, oh, we're dropping these two here, these two here, you know, they're right there together, you know. Then the second pass, the gaps in between the characters were horrible. Like you had to wait so long for another character to show up that you stopped caring. A lot of people stopped caring. And that's how I believe the game, you know, the the player base dwindled so rapidly in the game because so much time was taken between the characters. And with this one, you know, like, uh, spring for this one. But we've got another character here, which brings the pass up to five. And it's Kefla. I'm just gonna be real honest here. Not excited. I don't like Kefla. It is what it is. I didn't like the character. I don't like most of the new characters from Super. Super was kind of bland. And the new characters kind of sucked. It is what it is. Uh, the biggest issue with Super is that they didn't take a bunch of time on characters. Especially with that whole Tournament of Power thing because they're just doing a tournament so they just threw characters out there. You didn't really get to know the characters like that. And some people argue, well you got to know I'm doing the tournament. No. When you introduce new characters they need an arc. They need time. Unless you're revamping old characters like Broly, which you just give them a movie. Boom. No big deal. But all your new characters need freaking time. You know why people like Beerus? Because Beerus is always there. <laughs> you need some time on these characters or else they end up like freaking Kale and uh, freaking Khalifla. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, and it's just, they're horrible characters. They really are. They're horrible characters. And you needed an arc. It is what it is. Like, you would actually be able to care more about these characters and find it more believable that they would actually have any type of decent power if you showed it instead of telling people. But that's the way things are now. They just throw stuff out there. They don't want to give you any type of actual uh, real arcs to anything. So, back to my point. I don't like Kefla. <laughs> I think Kefla's trash. I think her character design is trash too, because that outfit just looks gross. <laughs> oh goodness, like this, ugh, she's, mmm. I think the pro, uh, you know, oh, I'm trying to think of a way to say this. Here's the, th here's the thing, Kepler's outfit doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like. You would think with um, the combination between Kale and Khalifa, it would look different, you know? Like maybe the, the freaking pants would be the, the pants, uh, the capris, the shorts, the jeggings, whatever the flip they are. They, I don't know they have their own classification of horrible clothing, but you would think they would be more puffy, you know? Or, you know, they, they'd be a longer shirt on her or something. It was it was freaking weird. Like as far as the actual face and hairstyle, that made sense for a fusion between the characters, you know, but the outfit is just freaking gross. <laughs> it is what it is. So um and as as far as her techniques and stuff there wasn't much there besides the, the green and red swirly disc blast thing. I don't know what it's called, to be honest. Like, <laughs> when they first showed it, it just looked like somebody just decided that they wanted to swirl some colors together and throw them out there. It was really weird. But sometimes they can they can make it look decent like um, freaking Dokkan Battle. Like in there, her super attack looks decent. And from what they showed in the trailer, it looks pretty decent in the game, but Fighters has taken a lot of stuff out of the show and made it look better. So I expect it. I expect this character, whenever it dropped, to look better than it did in the show and actually make you um, you know, like the moves that it does and whatnot. But that doesn't matter when you just don't like the character. And it's a shame because 
I really like this game, but I really don't want to just blow money on another pass. Because the problem with the last pass was that, you know, they had a bunch of characters that I didn't really care about. <laughs> I didn't care about Videl. I like Videl. Videl is my favorite girl in Dragon Ball. I didn't want to play as her. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't like Jiren at all either. But some of his moves look really cool, so I thought, oh, he's going to be cool in this game. I played with him for about a week, and that was it. And um, who was next after that? Was it Janemba, I think it was? No, 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 it was GT Goku. And I don't like GT, so <laughs> there was that. I also don't like small characters. They just... The last season passed besides the last three characters like I like Janemba but mostly because of his whole dimension thing and I like Gogeta. Gogeta is my favorite fusion and he's just dope and I like Broly. I like Super Broly not regular Broly. I wasn't that big of a fan of regular Broly because I don't like just massive characters like that. So when they had um, Super Broly I was like oh <laughs> that's cool. So half the pass was worth it for me. And if I wouldn't have bought the whole pass and just bought the characters that I actually liked, I wouldn't have wasted extra money. It is what it is. So I'm kind of weary about actually dealing with this pass. And, oh, uh, it's just, it's such a bad start. Like, they should have started with Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, he should have been the character that they're saying, hey, this character's out this month. Boom. That make people want to get the pass, or at least make me want to get the pass. I don't like Kefla, so I'm like, uh, I can wait on that. <laughs> now, who knows? Because, you know, I do the whole YouTube, and then I'm trying to get back to streaming. It's a slow process. <laughs> Ooh, but because I do this stuff, I, I do just um, use the characters for content and junk, so probably end up still playing with them, but... As far as just me as a gamer, I have no interest. I'm not a fan. It's unfortunate. Also, I don't know who else they'd add. What, Kaba? Would this be the freaking Universe um, Six Pack? <laughs> six Pack. Oh, goodness. They just add in the freaking Chompa. <laughs> Kaba. Oh, uh, what else? Cause they had a, one more slot. Who else they had in there? Uh, Frost. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't see anybody else that I would like that they could add. That's not already a character in the game. Cause I don't want any more copies of characters, you know? But if they were to add more characters that I like, they'd have to be copies cause I don't like anybody else. <laughs> it's unfortunate. But that's where we are right now. So, anywho, that's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to talk about the past and whatnot and what was going on, how I felt about it and all that stuff. Oh, goodness. This went on way longer than I wanted it to. So, I'm getting up out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and have a great day.